Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss corrective controls when it comes to cybersecurity. In the prior session, we looked at two other controls, preventive controls and detective controls. Preventive controls and detective controls precedes corrective controls. Why? Preventive controls, they would help you eliminate the attack from taking place in the first place. So if you can stop the attack from taking place, that's great. That's it. You avoided the attack altogether. Detective control, if they were able to penetrate the preventive perimeters of the company, the, pre the, pre the, the perimeters of the IT system of our network, then you would rely on the detective control to stop them. Well, if they were successful or not successful, at that point, once they penetrated the system, what we have to do, we have to go back and take corrective actions. So corrective actions are strategies and action taken to address and rectify weaknesses, vulnerabilities by a security incident, something happened. So remember, the corrective controls, it's post-incident, something happened and we are reacting. Or we performed an audit and we find a problem. Or there was a new rules or regulation in the industry, shift in the industry standards where we have to update our security procedures. Then we have to do what we have to take corrective actions. So once these controls are implemented and functioning effectively, then they are considered preventive and deductive. And that's why we corrected the system. So it will prevent future incidents and under certain circumstances, they work as a detective measures. And we would look at procedures, strategies, processes, techniques that the company uses as corrective controls. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, farhatlectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. One thing that companies will have to do as part of their corrective control effort is to have a response team, an incident response team that's dedicated and responsible for responding to security breaches or incidents. So we have people who are vested in this problem. Vested means they know what they're doing, they know how to respond. They're gonna work to contain and mitigate the impact of the security incident. Analyze what happened, learn from it. Then after we learn from it, we create new preventive and detective control to prevent future occurrences. They're gonna have to do what? They have to do a forensic analysis. So after the security incident, they have to conduct analysis to understand why did that breach happen? What, what's the extent of the damage? How much are we affected as a company? And the methods used by the attacker. We are doing all of this to learn for the future, to build our preventive and detective controls. And the team will conduct a thorough review to identify lessons learned and make necessary adjustments to policies, procedures, and technology. First thing we do is also reconfiguration. If the problem is a system, a technology, then we have to re reconfigure the technology. This, this means altering, changing the setup of applications or systems to eliminate those vulnerabilities, thereby restoring secure operation and averting potential breaches. For example, we might have to adjust our firewall configuration to block unauthorized access. We might have to modify security setting of the operating system, or we might change user's access right to ensure that only employees who have access for the data necessary for their job roles are giving access. Uh, as a part of corrective actions, we might have to, up, to do upgrades and patch the system. And as a result, those will be preventive and detective measures, applying security patches and updating software can improve system resilience introduce new functionalities, and seal security gaps. It means improve our preventive measures. An example would be including installing a security patch to fix a known vulnerability in a web server software, which prevent hackers from gaining access in the future because they already did that. Well, let's learn and fix this problem. You may want to revise policies and procedures 
on a regular basis, especially after an incident, you want to take a look at your policies and procedures. How can you do so to mitigate security risk without the needing to restore to any new technology or doing updates or any system overhaul? That could be the issue, revising policies and procedures. For example, revising how data is handled to include encryption of sensitive information, both at rest and in transit. We could just maybe solve the problem if we have a data security procedures. Another thing we can do is update employee training. Remember, employee training were part of our preventive measures. Also, as a corrective measure, let's learn from what happened. And if the employee were the source, were the source of the attack, let's update our training, educate employee about cyber threat and proper response. Well, we'll do what? We can do anything about the past, but we will reduce the risk of future security incident. For example, here, uh, we could be conducting tra training session on phishing attacks. Maybe we need more uh, training about how to recognize because phishing attacks are constantly evolving. Maybe we need to include this new, new strategy. In this way, we equip employees with the knowledge necessary with the most recent knowledge to avoid future attacks. Also, we have to have recovery and continuity plan, developing and maintaining a comprehensive plan for the disaster recovery that's critical in our corrective action. This is to make sure that the company can get back on its feet, quickly recover from an incident and minimize operational downtime. For example, an organization might implement a disaster recovery plan that include regular data backup and protocols for switching to a secondary operational site in case of the primary one was down if a cyber attack or natural disaster. Making sure our antivirus software is properly working. But we talked about antivirus software earlier as a detec detective measure, yes. But once a, pro a problem is detected, we need to eliminate, this is the corrective action here, we need to eliminate the virus, thus neutralizing the threat. We don't want the threat to be, you know, hanging around for too long. We, need, we wanna isolate any suspected viruses or confirmed viruses from the rest of the network. For example, once we detect a ransomware attempt, what do we do? The antivirus software would automatically remove the malicious file before it, it encrypts any data. And this is the corrective action. Yes, we can detect, but also removing is a corrective action, thus preventing an attack. But by removing it, it's taking correction. Let's take a look at this multiple choice question from farhatlectures.com. A company experienced a significant data breach exposing sensitive customer data. Which of the following action is most essential in the initial phase of the company incidents response plan? So we know the attack took place. There's nothing we can do with preventive or detective. Now we are responding, corrective. So what's the most important thing they should do as the incident response plan. Assessing the financial impact of the breach on the company's upcoming quarterly results. Well, we're gonna have to do that, but let's wait on that for later. I don't think assessing the financial impact is the most critical at this point. I would say I, would, I can safely eliminate A. Identify and isolate the compromised system to prevent further data loss. Or I would say yes. Let's isolate the system so it doesn't spread. I would say I will keep B for now. Conducting an immediate company-wide training on data security. Uh, we were going to have to do that, maybe, but not now. This is not the most pressing issue at this point. Negotiating with the attacker to prevent the release of stolen data. Um, who knows? We might have to restore to this, but the first thing is don't give them more access. So B will be the most pressing for this type of scenario. What should you do now? You're going to go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional MCQs. That's going to help you whether you're studying for your CPA exam or some other professional certification or courses. Invest in yourself. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.